Uh, with Tony Carr here, the West Ham Academy uh, International Director uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, with the national camp for West Ham United. Tony, first impressions of this week so far? Well, it's been a great week. The weather's been great. There's fantastic facilities here at Darlington School in Rome. And uh, the kids are having lots of fun and lots of coaching and working very hard. Tony, we had this conversation a, a couple of years ago, a year ago, about you know, West Ham United coming over, doing this experience, this academy mm. experience. What benefits, uh, one for your coaches, because it's all the coaches that have come from West Ham Academy, but also for the young players that are being involved? I think rather than just go to a soccer camp where it's fun and games and just enjoyment, obviously it is enjoyment, we're trying to give them a true academy experience, the sort of training and the drills and, and the practices our own academy players would do back home in London. So we, you know, we're demanding perhaps better standards all the time and trying to do lots of repetitive drills uh, that perhaps the boys haven't done before and just testing their abilities, trying to make things a little bit more difficult, trying to give them more challenges to sort of just see how well they cope and to see if they could sort of hack it at, uh, at academy level back home in London. You know, like you just said, you've been the academy director for a number of years and uh, obviously the players that you had come out, Frank Lampard, Rio Ferdinand, Defoe, Mickey Carrick, I can go on and on and on, not yeah. just top players but world class players as well. What's the, maybe the four aspects that you're looking for these players to try and emulate? It's very difficult to get that level, but trying to emulate what in the academy at West Ham, but also in the international academy. Well, I think the first thing we look for in any player is what natural ability he's got. You know, it's not what we can coach him, it's, it's what has he got that, that he shows us, what does he bring to us? And then after that, was, you know, does he got a love for the game? Does he love training? Does he love coaching? Has he got a passion for the game? And is he full of enthusiasm? But the first thing is, is, is regarding his ability, is, is what he brings to us. And then we'll look at that and say, well, if, if we worked hard at him in this area, whether it be a defensive area or an attacking area, it may improve him. But first and foremost is, is his own natural ability and how he performs and how effective he is in matches when we play games here. And, and looking ahead for West Ham United, back in the Premier League, where I'm pleased to say they, they deserve to be, uh, what's the challenges ahead for the academy director, but also for the club going forward? I think this, you, know, you should say the twofold. I mean, the, from from the academy's point of view, we've, got, we've constantly got to be trying to bring players into the first team squad. So the pressure's there every year to sort of make sure that the quality is good enough that the manager of, and at the moment Sam Allardyce can 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 use those players and, and be a part of the the first team squad. And secondly, the first team have got to establish themselves back into the Premier League. As you know, Warren, relegation squads change because you know the. It's, 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 in some respects, they lose so much money that the big, uh, the big wage earners have to go. So consequently, you build your squad to get, in, to get out of the championship. Once you get back into the premiership, you've got to strengthen again. So that's the challenge for us this year, is to strengthen our squad sufficiently that, that keeps us in the Premier League for more than just one season. And you had some good news as well from the Premier League. You're talking about this EPPP, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> there's right. a lot of in there with, a, yeah. uh, you know, getting this, this grade one, which is the, the ultimate level that yeah. you can be the, in the, 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 the coaches and ourselves have worked really hard for about a year on it. And it's, it, it's like an audit. Uh, that, uh, they come and look at every single aspect of the club, from your staffing levels to your medical facility, to your coaching program, to your, to your scouting, to your financial template. And they look at everything from the ethos of the club, the continuity from youth to first team. And I'm pleased to say after our four day audit, which was a, an experience in <laughs> itself, you know, we, got, we got news last week that we were officially gonna be a category one academy. So really, really pleased with that. And uh, congratulations to all the staff for making it all happen. And then looking now, obviously in London, uh, in the East London area, actually with the Olympics, you know, you've got one of your players involved and we, we were talking about the young players, you know, the technical side uh, of the game. Um, in your opinion, I know it's quite a broad question, but. Where, where can we improve with younger players? Well, if you looked at us in the, the last championship, um, the Euros, that uh, our biggest problem was we couldn't retain possession of the ball. And that, was, for me, was our biggest problem. I think, we, you know, we'll always have a good spirit. We'll always work hard. I think we'll always maintain a shape within our squad and, and the players will be disciplined about that. But we do seem to have a problem when the pressure's on, is to, is to retain possession of the ball. So we've got to look at ourselves as coaches, and say, are we, get, are we doing it right? Are, are we getting it right? Are we, are we teaching them the skills to take them to the international, international level and, and perform there and do better at international competition? So um, we've got to look at the, everything we do in terms of coaching grassroots. The EPP itself has, has um, indicated and, and, and dictated, I should say, that um, you've almost got to double the hours of coaching 
from, from the boys of eight years of age to the boys to 18 years of age. So over time, with the double amount of coaching and training these boys do, hopefully we can produce a better quality player that's, that's bet, better technically and hopefully we can you know, emulate these European teams that seem to outplay us in the big competitions. You know, looking at these young players here and obviously the ones you have in, in West Ham Academy, what's their biggest object to try and go forward? What's the biggest hurdle that you see trying to get into a first team, particularly a, a Premier League team? What's the biggest challenge ahead? I think it's great our first team are in the Premier League, but it does then make it that little bit more difficult for a young player to break in, break into the team. And you, you see that at all the clubs, especially the bigger clubs that go and buy the best players. The clubs that have got the biggest, uh, the biggest wallets buy the best players and, and, and lots of them. So young players find it very difficult then to break into the first team. You don't find many 17, 18 year olds making debuts or, or certainly holding down a regular place in the first team. And this is part of, part of the problem with the England national side that some of our best young players are not playing regularly for first teams in the Premier League. So that they're playing bit parts, so to speak, and sometimes you even have to go out on loan to get experience. So that is, that, that's one of the downsides of the Premier League for the national side. As a product, we all know it's a great product and it's a great league. But uh, for, for the national team, you know, there are some downsides and I think that is one of them. Well, you're making me homesick talking about it, but I mean, as I said, it's been a pleasure. I've played against you when I was younger and watching you here. And I think it's great for the, the kids and also for you to come over and do it. I think we hear a lot in the past about people wanting to come over, but you come over time and time again and I know the kids enjoy it. So it's always a pleasure. Tom. Thank you, Warren. Pleasure.